Hello friends, in today's video we are going to discuss PLC signals. PLC signals are very important in instrumentation so the video is going to be very helpful for you. Let's start the video. First we will discuss PLC. The full form of PLC is Programmable Logic Controller. It is also asked in interviews. PLC is used to automate the instrumentation system. In instrumentation, the processes and machines are controlled automatically and PLC is used for this purpose. PLC automation is based on the signals of various instruments. You must have seen RTD, thermocouples, control valves, sensors, transmitters are installed in the field. PLC automation is based on the signals of these instruments. These signals are of two types. The first one is input signals and the second one is output signals. We will discuss these signals one by one. First we will discuss input signals. Input signals are incoming signals. We have made a box and we have written PLC in the box. Similarly we have drawn a box for some instruments. Suppose instrument 1. Similarly, there may be many instruments like instrument 2 and up to instrument N. So, the incoming signals to PLC from these instruments are called input signals as you can see by the help of arrow. Now, we will discuss the output signals. Output signals are outgoing signals. Output signals come from PLC and provided to various instruments like instrument 3, instrument 4 and so on. It is cleared from this image also. Output signals are shown by the arrows. Input and output signals also have two types. The first one is analog signals and the second one is digital signals. So we have two signals for input and two signals for output. The input signals are analog input signal and digital input signals. And the output signals are analog output signals and digital output signals. So guys, if you like the video, keep liking and keep sharing. Now we will see what is the difference between analog signals and dif di digital signals. This question is also important for your interviews, so you must know the difference. First we will see the analog signals. Analog signals are continuously varied signal and these signals vary under a range. The analog signals types are 4 to 20 milliampere, 0 to 20 milliampere, 1 to 5 volts, 0 to 5 volts. These all signals are varying under a range. So these are analog signals. Now we will discuss digital signals. Digital signals are not continuously varied signal and digital signals are for on and off signals. By this image you can see the digital signal and the signal is for on and off. Now we will see PLC input signals. We can understand in a more easy way that the signals which measure some quantities are known as input signals. These quantities may be pH, flow, level, temperature, etc. If you are measuring any quantity, then the signal received at PLC is input signal. For better understanding, let's take an example. Pressure transmitter signal is an input signal. Pressure switch signal is also an input signal. Now here, pressure transmitter is in the left and pressure switch is in the right. Pressure transmitter signal is a continuous varying signal and pressure transmitter signal is 4 to 20 milliampere signal. So the conclusion is 
pressure transmitter signal is an analog input means ai signal because pressure transmitter measures the pressure so it is input signal and the signal is 4 to 20 milliampere signal and varying in a range so it is an analog signal here one point is also important to note that mostly all sensors and transmitter signals are analog input signals. So remember this point, this point is also important for your interview purpose. Here are some sensors and transmitters used in instrumentations like RTD, thermocouple, various flow meters like MAC flow meter, mass flow meter, pressure transmitter and temperature transmitter pen type pressure transmitter, diaphragm type pressure transmitter, ultrasonic level transmitter and many more. Now you guys tell me in your industry which transmitter and sensors are used. Pressure switch signal is also an input signal but pressure switch signal is only on and off. The signal is like as shown in this image. It is only on and off it doesn't have any value between on and off any switch signal is only on and off signal when the switch actuates its signal is on and when it is not actuated it is off so it is very simple to understand so switch signals are input signals like limit switch level switch proximity switch etc Switch signals are digital input signals or DI signals. DI is the short form for digital input. DI signals are usually 24 volts DC signals. 110 volts DC signals are also used. Now you guys tell me which DI signals are used in your industry. So we have a conclusion that sensors and switches signals are input signals. So remember this point. I think it is also clear to you. Now we will discuss PLC output signals. The signals that control something are output signals like signal for control valve operation, motor start and stop signals are output signals. For your better understanding, we will take some example. First example is motor RPM control using VFD and motor start and stop from SCADA. And the second example is percentage open control valve and on off pneumatic control valve. 4 to 20 milliampere signals are used for motor RPM control and also for control valve operation. These signals are analog output signals because these are controlling signals and vary under 4 to 20 milliampere range. Pneumatic on off valve is operated by solenoid valve or SOV and this is an on off signal. SOV is used to operate butterfly valve and ball valve. The signal for SOV is a digital output, output or DO signal. This signal is controlling a valve so it is an output signal. This signal is an on off signal so it is digital signal it is very simple to understand similarly signal provided by SCADA to VFD for start and stop a motor is also a digital output or DO signal digital output signals are usually 220 volts AC signals now one question is for you guys what is motor load feedback and motor trip feedback So that was our video. If you like the video, do like, do subscribe and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching.